hey hello everyone my name is Irfan and I have created this patch called face expression uh, this patch is uh, useful for spark AR creators like AR filter in Instagram so this patch contains three input like face hair physics and physics intensity uh, in this video I am going to show you how to create those things in blender and how to create create those shape keys and how to use this patch in uh, spark ar studio so let's get started so in this video i'm gonna uh, create a shape keys for this model so i have already created several shape keys and i'll show you one by one so at the beginning see at the beginning uh, there is a left eye closeness you can see the modifications i have done uh, in the left side of the panel so I was increasing the values so these are the shape keys I have created for this model like left eyebrow raiseness and right eyebrow raiseness so likewise you need to create uh, the shape keys uh, that's it guys uh, this is a easy process so we no need uh, any more bones to rig, rig the face in spark AR studio this patch is very useful for uh, giving facial expressions like chin leftness chin rightness and smileness sadness and it will uh, it will be very useful so uh, up to mouth open I have created so we need to export it as GLTF format so let's jump on to the spark AR studio so here's the project file and I have imported the model and you can see at the right side all the shape keys are imported and I have made the face tracker into the patch editor now we need to take the custom patch I have created and I should drag it to the spark AR studio so that it will be appearing on the left side panel at the beginning it will show the error because there is no input uh, once the face, uh, face connected as input uh, that's it it, the error will be going so likewise we need to connect all the shape keys that we have created that's it guys once all the shape keys are connected to this patch all the expression will be applying to the model so this is the best time saving way uh, when we uh, compared with the bone rigging so nextly I am going to show how to uh, create hair physics uh, to the model using this patch so this is the model I have created so in this video I will show you uh, as an example how to move how to uh, give the uh, physics to the hair so I will se separate the selection uh, so i need three hairs to move so i'm separating it uh, from the hair uh, mesh so i separated these three hairs so for convenient i am hiding the hairs so these two hairs also so i need to create it create the armature bone so create two bones for one hair like this and you need to connect the edges to uh, exclude the edges to uh, the end of the hair tip of the hair and you need to create in the same way uh, to the uh, other hairs so in this video I am going to show you for example so I am creating for three hairs uh, in the original project I have made up to uh, 110 hairs it, it works absolutely fine so I'll show you in Spark AR Studio. So likewise, we need to create create the bone for three hairs and check it. Uh, it 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 is working fine uh, in post mode. Yeah, in Spark AR Studio, I have imported the model. So for the convenient, I'm hiding the the hair. So you can see the three hairs we have made the bone in blender. So now what we need to do is 
take the uh, face tracker and put into the patch editor so we can import the import our custom patch so I'm taking the uh, custom patch from the file folder and drag it to the spark air studio and once it come into the spark air studio drag it to the patch editor so you can see the patch as before it shows the error so connect face to the face and 3d rotation to hair physics so it calculates some values and send output as physics so the thing we need to do is go to the model and take the uh, tip of the bone so as we created two bones we need to select the second bone we have excluded in the blender so likewise we can see the bone here so pause the animation and select the tip of the bone so once you selected take the rotation as patch and move it to the right side and you need to add these values to the patch so let's right click and add vector 3 and copy paste those values and connect it so likewise do for the three hairs so as in my case i have created three hairs you can create up to how much you want and do the same process for those hairs so after creating just connect the physics to the uh, first value in the add so that's it guys it works perfectly fine so the head hair intensity i'll show you how it works so once we have done this uh, let's play the video you can see uh, hair movement was very 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 less so you cannot see any movement and uh, now i change the intensity you can see little bit of movement now i i put a value as 7 so you can see uh, the hair movement so it will be uh, working absolutely fine so in this project i have created more up to 110 hairs and you can see the output uh, of my patch see the hair works very well you can see the in this video uh, as a screen recording it was lagging so you can see the in, uh, instagram camera see here the hair will be moving perfectly so that's it guys thank you